Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just another day with me, Danny, of course. Today's video is going to be another baking tutorial where I'm going to be showing you guys how to make macarons or as the way we call it in Canada, we call them macaroons. But we aren't going to be making regular macaroons. We are going to be making shamrock shake flavored macaroons for St. Patrick's Day. All right, let's get into the baking. Alright, so the first set of ingredients that you're going to need for the macaroons are all of these things here. First, you're going to need some almond flour. And then you're going to need some icing sugar. Some regular sugar. Then you're going to need some table salt. And some cream of tartar. and some green food coloring. This one I just got in leaf green color from Wilton. And then lastly, you're also gonna need some eggs. Now for the macaroon filling ingredients, we are gonna need all of these items here, starting with the icing sugar. Then we're gonna need some regular milk, some vanilla, and then for flavoring, I just picked up some mint extract. Moving on to the baking sheet preparation, you're going to want to make a piece of parchment paper fit a cookie sheet and you're going to want to just trace about one half centimeter round circles onto it. I just trace it with some pencil as you can see here and then I'm going to flip the parchment paper over before I actually put the batter onto the cookie sheet. I also picked up some really cute sprinkles to decorate the macaroons after we're done making them and these ones here are just some little green four leaf clovers that I picked up from the store. The next set of sprinkles that I got were just these little silver balls. I thought they were really cute as like an accent color. So you're also going to need two piping bags. I have one here for the macaroon filling and then I also have a prepped one for the icing that's going to go inside the macaroons. And this one here just has like a little star tip on it. Alright, so now we're going to get into making the macaroon batter. And the first thing that you're going to need is to separate four large eggs and just keep the egg whites. And you're going to want to keep these out of the fridge so that they come to room temperature before you start whisking them up. Moving into the dry ingredients, you're going to want to throw in 170 grams of the almond flour through a sift into a large mixing bowl. And the next ingredient we're going to add is the powdered sugar, so you're going to want to put in 200 grams of that. And then we're just going to sift that together into the almond flour. And then the next ingredient you're going to add in is 1 8 of a teaspoon of kosher salt. Next up, we are going to be whisking together the egg whites and we are going to be adding in the cream of tartar at the same time. Once those two ingredients are added into the bowl, we are going to start whisking them together until they start forming soft peaks. And it's really important not to over whisk the ingredients here because we still have sugar to add to the egg white mixture. Alright, so once the mixture gets to this kind of throfty point, we are going to be adding in 70 grams of just regular sugar and you're going to want to slowly incorporate this into the mixture. Thank you. 
once the egg whites have been mixing for about two minutes on medium to high speed, they should stand up like this on their own. And we're gonna add in the food coloring to make the macaroons green. Once again here, I just have my Wilton Leaf Green food coloring in a gel paste. And I'm just gonna add a couple drops to the mixture so it makes a very, very light green color. adding the food coloring to the egg whites we are now going to incorporate the dry ingredients into the bowl here and I'm just gonna gently fold the dry ingredients into the egg whites all right going back to the prepared cookie sheet with the uh, round circles on them and filling up the piping bag with the macaroon mixture we are just gonna pipe it onto the cookie sheet as so once you finish piping them out it's actually really important to tap the cookie sheet with the batter on them so it gets out any air bubbles and this way it'll help your macaroons to rise in the oven Moving on to the macaroon filling ingredients, we are going to be adding in half a cup of butter, and then we're going to be adding in two cups of icing sugar, and then next we're going to be adding two teaspoons of milk and one teaspoon of vanilla. And also half a teaspoon of mint extract. Once the icing mixture has all come together, we are going to put it into the prepared piping bag with the tip on it. After the macaroons have finished baking in the oven, I set my oven for 315 degrees Celsius and I baked them for about 15 minutes at a time and kept checking on them until they loosely came off of the baking sheet. If they're sticking to the baking sheet that just means that they're not finished yet so keep putting them back in the oven until they come off very easy. At this point I'm just gonna take a single macaroon shell and I'm just gonna start filling it with the icing mixture that we just made and then I'm gonna decorate them however I like them. So here is the finished product of my Shamrock Shake macaroons. So this is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little baking tutorial. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and or the like button if you want to see more from me in the future. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.